in reading the newspapers, listening to talk radio, watching uh, the news this morning, the news channels, it is as if the mainstream media is basically more and more uh, acting and behaving like the Alex Jones radio show and Infowars.com and PrisonPlanet.com. And by that, I mean only to a certain point. They are admitting that the government uh, has a 9% approval rating. It, it, it was 11. New numbers came out yesterday. The Congress now has a 9% approval rating. No one believes anything the government says. The government could say that the sky was blue and no one would believe it. Um, the system is in a crisis, and it's suddenly being admitted that our economy is being imploded, uh, and that the Federal Reserve is private, uh, and that, yes, the government is spying on you without warrants, and the government and the major corporations' response is to lie. Steve Jobs uh, is in the news, the head of Apple, saying it's preposterous that they don't spy on anybody and that they're not tracking your location or where you go or what you do. Now, it's in the Telecommunications Act of 96, that by October 1st, 2001, all phones in the United States that are cell phones are triangulated via cell towers and are tracked, and that there is a data trail on your phones that gives them a history of your location. Almost all cars made in the last decade also have a smart box that tracks how fast you were going, what you were doing uh, for a long period of time, so that when you have a wreck, they have a record of it. Uh, everything is having these uh, piggyback systems put in, uh, but here's Steve Jobs. Apple doesn't track anyone. Uh, and that's out of Yahoo News. Now, the issue here is the system is losing all credibility across the political spectrum. And that's why they're moving to try to censor and discredit and shut down the alternative media. That's why they're moving to go ahead and devalue the dollar now. So to impoverish us to such a great level that politically all we can do is basically focus on trying to feed ourselves hand to mouth. The system is using debt bondage uh, as a tool of control. But let me just go over a smattering of the news that's up on Infowars.com and PrisonPlanet.com. There's a new amazing USA Today poll. And remember, this is being done of pretty much mainline, dumbed-down people. Uh, they, they do these mainline polls from pools of people, Democrats, Republicans, people they've polled before, people who they know how they're going to respond. The number's actually much higher. Now, notice that for three years... A year before he even got in office, when we had Webster Tarpley uh, and uh, Phil Berg and Wayne Madsen, who were on questioning Obama's birth certificate, even before Jerome Corsi was. And I'm not poo-pooing his book that's number one on the bestseller list right now, or has been number one off and on. The point is, basically, from what I hear, is going to be in it. That's the same thing these guys researched years ago. Just Corsi has now gone around and proven, and that this is new, that they've covered up in Indonesia, in the U.S., uh, in Kenya, his, his records. They've been destroyed. So, so where there's smoke, there's fire. Evidence of the obstruction of the evidence. Evidence of the absconding. A clear... Who benefits, who gains from destroying the evidence, key bono, they're acting very suspiciously. It's like if a cop pulls you over for speeding and he's looking around in the car and they're like, nothing's going on, don't look back there. You know, the cop starts to look and, and, and it becomes probable cause because of the uh, erratic way they're behaving. This is classic criminology. They are scared. But the big issue here is for three years they've said you're a kook, you're a lunatic, you're a nut. No one believes that he wasn't born in Hawaii. No one takes this seriously. This is fringe kooks. Less than 1%, as Carl Rove even said a few months ago on Fox News, trying to defend the Republican and Democrat establishment. Uh, don't go there. Glenn Beck saying, don't go there, don't go there. Because the truth is, the establishment knows his providence is in question. They know he gave up his citizenship in Indonesia. That disqualifies him from being natural born. Uh, once you've given up your citizenship to Indonesia, you can't uh, come back here and ever run for president. 
They know. And so they tried this, this wall of ridicule, this wall of laughing. Shock poll, USA Today, Drudge Report's got it up. Only 38% say Obama definitely born in the U.S. So you've got 62%, and that's in an establishment poll. Let me tell you something. I talk to Democrats. I talk to Republicans. I monitor the news. Everyone I know, libertarians, liberals, conservatives, anarchists, no one believes Obama was born in this country that I talk to. It's probably just like you got 9% approval rating for Congress. It's, it's more like probably 9% if I had to dead reckon believe this because he said he wouldn't hire lobbyists, hired more lobbyists than anybody in history. He said he'd stop the torture, intensified it. He'd stop the secret arrest, intensified it. He'd end the wars, expanded them. Uh, he wouldn't hire any uh, uh, Wall Street people. Uh, he wouldn't take Wall Street money. Uh, he wouldn't have signing statements. Uh, he wouldn't have secret meetings. He would open up the FOIA request. He's made it more secret than anybody. Uh, I have never seen anything like it because the globalists are in high gear. He's their puppet. He's their front man. He got four times the money that John McCain got. Not that McCain was good. They saw that the smart better looking, more intelligent, on average Obama than burnout McCain, crazy McCain, would be able to sell their agenda and put the left to sleep. The left, you know, would stop complaining about torture, secret arrest, police state, the Patriot Act. The left was out buying guns under Bush because they finally learned how to fear the government. They finally got some common sense. It was sleepy time for the first year. Well, sleepy time's over. We're two years into this now, three years into the exposés of Barack Hussein Obama, and 38% say that he was definitely born in the USA. 62%. We're talking only a point away, 1.3 points away. We're talking only, well, when it hits 63% and change, two-thirds will not believe he was born in this country because they don't believe anything. I mean, if Obama came out and said that he had white teeth, no one would believe it. If Pelosi came out and said she had brown hair, no one would believe it. If they came out and said the grass is green and tulips are red and, and dandelions are yellow and, and daffodils are yellow and blue bonnets are blue, we don't believe a stinking word that comes out of your mouth. Let me tell you something, three and a half years ago, when the Liberty Movement, 9-11 groups, actually five years ago, started having tea parties, throwing the 9-11 Commission report in the water, started in Boston. Then Liberty Movements in Austin had marches to get Ron Paul to run, and then when he announced, the first major Ron Paul Tea Party was in Austin. It's on record. Some media is accurate and calls him the grandfather of the Tea Party. Uh, they put a meme out on Fox and Limbaugh does saying the Tea Party was founded two years ago. It just had its birthday two weeks ago. It was founded by Sean Hannity. Yes, yes, no, no. Three years ago, they were demonizing the Tea Party and putting out press releases saying conservatives don't hang out with these Ron Paul libertarians. They're dangerous. They're anti-military because they want to cut defense spending and, and, and cut foreign aid. The Republicans attacked the Tea Party until two years ago when they couldn't beat them, they joined them. Rick Perry was booed at four consecutive speeches. I played the YouTube videos here. Uh, Senator Cornyn was booed. It all started in Texas. Then Republicans were booed in other states. And they panicked because it wasn't just Republicans and libertarians going to Democratic town halls and shouting them down. Republicans were. And so suddenly Rick Perry said, I kill coyotes outside my house in the middle of Austin. I, I, I carry a gun. I wear a cowboy hat. I want to secede. I don't like the New World Order. This is a guy who hangs out at Bilderberg Group and would demonize patriots a year before that. And the, some of the Tea Parties went, what? And they had the Tea Party Express come through, run by Dick Army and big Fox News ads and the talk show host, get out there. And boy, if you showed up with a Ron Paul shirt, these old ladies, we got video, would hit you with their signs. Get, get, Tommy, get, get, we founded it. Get, get, get on out of here. Get, there ain't no dollar problem. There ain't no New World Order. You get your, you get your behind in out of here right now, boy. 
We like the Patriot Act. We like torture. We like the Federal Reserve. We like the CFR. But then that didn't work. So suddenly Beck and all of us started going, there is a new world order. George Soros, world government, it's run by some mid-level nobody, Van Jones. Oh my gosh, they're going to get us. The Federal Reserve is evil. See, they have to get more hardcore to keep any credibility. Ladies and gentlemen, when MSNBC airs, and I was seeing these numbers uh, at uh, the By the Numbers Nielsen rating site. In fact, I meant to cover this. Guys, will you pull me uh, the Nielsen ratings on an average week for MSNBC? I want to. Well, well, the point is, I I heard a talk show I was talking about, it, and I went and looked it up over the weekend, and, and, and there indeed it was there. I mean, I knew their average show had about 150,000 viewers on MSNBC. Uh, their top shows, every once in a while, with a big guest, maybe a million prime time, but generally about 500,000. Uh, I mean, a big talk show in a major city of six, seven million people will have that during drive time. Okay, I mean, you can look at the Arbitron numbers on that. So, so they are legends in their own mind. And But I didn't know that when they air a vacuum cleaner or a Chuck Norris uh, home gym ad, they get more viewers in prime time than they get with, with Rachel, Mr. Maddow. And the rest of them. So the point is they're paper tigers. They're, they're husk. No one believes them. No one buys into them. So of course Fox has an average of 2 million viewers talking a little bit about the New World Order. I mean, they went all the way. They have 20 million viewers. Uh, I mean, this show has over 3 million a day now, folks. But see, we're not legends in our own mind. We don't put on the airs.